Go to Cedar, stand in the dash, hold two heaters. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm living. This is how I'm living, y'all. Trina is a very sweet, charming, lovable individual. A person that lives in reality, a good friend, someone that's always nice to other people. You know, and that's exactly who I am. Where I came from actually is Miami, actually Liberty City. It's not really the roughest neighborhood, but it's really, you know, down to earth, ghetto, grimy, whatever. We got a lot of. That's ghetto food. That's what you call ghetto food right there. I basically just live normal, a normal life. So it's good to come from being regular to being, you know, different. My mom's, she could turn around, you can see her face. Hi. I've always wrote rhymes and stuff like that. That was something I always wanted to do, but never really pursued it to take it really seriously. Coming up around Trey. We didn't really hang out that much, but I knew him from school or whatever, and he asked me to do a record with him. You know, it was funny. Everybody was, like, talking about it. It was the biggest male first female bashing record of the summer. I'm shy. <laughs> One thing led to another. Went out on the road, did my thing, decided to do a solo project, and the rest is history. I represent for the misses, all eyes on you witches. No time for the little tricks. You see the bigger the tricks, the bigger the bad. I'm not really hardcore. I'm not really gangster and all that. I just rap about streets and reality, the things that go on in, the, in life. You know, when people say, you know, keep it real, keep it street, when you keep it real and sometimes it be too real, they can't accept it. But the things that I say and talk about, it goes on every single day, 365 days of a year. People are just in denial about life and I'm not. But I like people to know what life is about to me, what it's been like, some things I may not like that I've done. I don't really regret anything. I just learned from it. How do I refer to being famous? You know, I just live, you know. I have a lot of fans, male and female, and, you know, in this business, you have a lot of people that like you, a lot of people that don't like you or whatever. Public trainer is like a character. It's like showcase. It's not that much of a difference, but it is. Because in public, it's like considered to be inspiration to others, a role model to others, so you got to do certain things in a certain way that you can't normally do. I wouldn't, you know, get mad and picture fit in the street because I have people that are probably looking up to me or watching me live on my home and I want to scream and shout there's something I can do because it's my personal time. In the summertime, come on my way, so I'm in a jet ski and I'm always at the beach getting the suntan or something like that. I like it. Just finished riding the jet skis. One of my friends with me a real bad. I'm real mad at him because he messed up my hair real bad. Everybody's not fortunate to be sexy. And if you are sexy, then you know, use it to the best that you can. Not saying do anything to really disgrace yourself. But you just gotta know how to weigh your own options, how to hold the weight for yourself. Woo woo, pull over. It's just too fat. This is the the you know, the butt of all butts, however you wanna call it. 
I like when I'm somewhere and people look at me and they're like, whoa, she's hot, she's this, whatever. I think it's very, you know, intriguing. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it and I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't hold any grudges against myself. I just had a lot of learning experiences and I, I'm thankful for them because it made me be a strong individual, it made me be independent and could be able to take care of myself. And I could go anywhere, buy anything, live, do whatever I want to do and not have to worry about it, flinch up or worry how I'm going to live the day or tomorrow. And that's what I love about myself. Hey, this is Trina and we're in Miami. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm living. So keep it tight, all right? Let me put my left foot in the game now. Hey, what's up? This is Trina. I'm about to show y'all how I'm living. Show y'all what I'm working. And as you can see, only a diva ride like this. So come on, follow me. To the dance floor. Hey. Now I've got you guys inside, I'm going to show you my house. Actually, um, everything was designed by me, I did it all. I have this crystal chandelier here. I love chandeliers, I have chandeliers on every part of the house. This area right here, I wanted it to be very elegant, very classy. The marble fireplace I had is specially made for me, it, it was shipped to me from Italy. Let's see, I have this dining area. As you can see, it's all fixed up. I don't eat at this table. I set the table up with the gold setting. Actually, these plate, this is Versace. The whole plate set is Versace and it's 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold plate setting sets, actual utensils, fork, knives, spoons, as you can see. They're also designed by Versace. I never ate out of them and I probably never will. It's just classy. I like a lot of things with a lot of class and a lot of detail. I love aquariums and fish tanks and stuff like that, so that's the reason I had this one done on the wall. If I'm cooking, if I'm just in the kitchen or whatever, and I have the lights dim, I look and I play with the fish sometimes. Let me show you what I keep in my refrigerator. Wow. Let's see. Actually, it's a bunch of junk. You know, I keep a whole bunch of snacks and stuff. I know a lot of people probably ate these when they were younger, so I still eat them. Actually, right here, these two babies mean a lot to me. It's funny because a lot of guys, when they see me around anywhere, the first thing they do is, I love you on the source cover, I love you on the double XL, I love you on anything. We're now into the den area here. Before we go, I have like some things on the wall here that are very special. I have the plaque from the Baddest Chick album, which was the first uh, plaque that I've ever received. I'm representing for the misses, all eyes on you witches, no time for the little tricks. You see the bigger the trick, the bigger the bank, the bigger the biz. This is my relaxation area. I have a lot of like high voyage ceiling lights in the ceiling. I have this special lucite color um, piece here I had designed especially for me. I actually come out here, I sit down, I actually fall asleep out here sometimes. I don't drink, but I feel like in everybody's house, whether you're a baller, whether you're a big shot, whether you're a diva, whatever, everybody must have a bottle of Cristal. Everybody. That's just a part of the game. That's how it's played. If you don't have it, that means you're not living big yet. So even if you got one bottle, it's still all good. Unfortunately, I got three. <laughs> Where the Diamond Princess sleeps, my bedroom. So we're walking in, I have a chandelier in the ceiling, Italian encrusted 24 karat gold, a big picture of me from my album cover that I had on the wall right here. I got all these pillows and all this stuff from Versace. It's very important that you use Versace. He's a very exquisite designer, very expensive, but it's also very classy. We can go into the bathroom and see how I take a bath. I come in here, dim the lights down real low, leave the candles lit up, and then I turn this light on right here, which is very beautiful and very classy, and I'm sitting in there bubbling up. These poles here, I had them especially put. I love the whole look of them. I have also a walk-in shower here. The whole thing is Italian towel. I have a surprise for you guys, so keep up. No panties coming off. Panties. My love is gonna call. We're gonna show you how I dress, how I stay looking so fly. No, Trina, Trina, Trina. Look, boo, what the I have 
some minks and stuff in here, some stuff I got some Nisha furs, uh, Zamir furs, and I have a whole bunch of glitz and glamour belts, uh, Chanel bracelets, Louis Vuitton bracelets, eyeglasses, different stuff, Christian Dior. Now, this is the whole diamond area here. I have some Roberto Cavalli, some nice hot. These are hot. These are my favorite. Come on, guys. You know these are so hot. They're sickening. This is the diamond. This is Diva, the diamond princess. Actually, she's wearing the boots I wore to the BET Awards. So that's real, real dope. She having all the diamond accessory, diamond bra, diamond skirt. She has some Versace encrusted diamond glasses in her hand. She's also wearing a diamond ring here. We have also. She's also rocking a Rolex. So that's hot, right? With the diamond bezel. Who do you know that has a mannequin in their house? A diva with a Rolex. Then one of my favorite handbags actually will be this Fendi one here. The whole diamond one. Everybody goes crazy when they see this bag. I thought it was very dope. Fendi made it and I think it's very exciting. Only one person I know other than myself owns one. So what? The other person that has a bag like this is Eve. And me and her always bugging out because we both always have it at the same time. So I think it's hot. I think what's even hotter is that I have the matching shoes to match it. This is really my diva closet. I come in here only when I'm about to hit the stage, you know, give the guys a lot to look at. I know they like to see me in a lot of little stuff. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have some. Actually, <laughs> this is funny. I'm going to save these for the guys. I'm here in this little thing I call a palace, a princess dome, you know, and I love it, and I'm very comfortable here. So thank you guys for coming to see me. Thank you for being in my home, and bye. I'm just living real wild at times, real calm at times, and just living my life to the fullest. You know, that's how I'm living. Brooklyn. Uh, uh, we right here. We in the doing the Fox Hill Mall thing, you know what I'm right. saying? Fabulous is this kid, man, from Brooklyn, a young kid, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to do his thing in this hip hop industry. I'm rolling, go to cedar, stash in a dash, hold two heaters, block out, put holes to beaters, get on fast. I'm living real fabulous, so this is one of the reasons why I'm showing y'all how fabulous I'm living today. 50 G's, hook the song, my, I wanna see how you look at thongs, hustling, guys are simple. Yeah, yeah, y'all, what's cracking? It's your boy Fabulous, you know what I'm saying? Right here live, L.A., B.T. got my back. I would say a, a great percentage of what you see on the videos is me, because I try to give, I try to give uh, realness, like, you know what I'm saying? Through my videos, I let you try to see how I would do it, and, and like, definitely how, how I would kick it. I can't deny it, I'm a slider. You don't want to bang with me, yeah. And you know I brought my gang with me, okay. No one day in LA, do some shopping. Uh, check out some females. BT, we right here, we in doing the Fox Hill Mall thing, you know what I'm saying? This is where I come, I used to come and get some jerseys, you know what I'm saying? They got a nice jersey spot in here. So that keep hitting. For that Cali dough, keep getting my tip rock at them Cali shows. It's William Bonnie. Still Basic, just doing, just doing, you know what I'm saying? Then just kicking it. Just riding around, kicking it. Now it's time for me to go hit the clubs, man. Me and my boys about to go hit the clubs. I'm so into you. We ride Beverly Hills. We ride, um, we ride La Siena, though. Man, them interviews, my sweet thing never believed. Them rumors that been a true. The fact I had numerous friends is true. But you was white, baby. I'm rolling in the, in the SL out here. We got the SL. Out here to drop, you know what I'm saying? That's why I like LA, you know what I'm saying? Got the top up right now, but you know what I'm saying? Once we start rolling, man, I'm a rider. Gotta roll with the top down. I don't know what the other consumers you been with do. I put a day aside to go to Bloomies and spend with you like any other man. I would have zoomed to the clinic too. Now I wanna see if me and my juniors identical. I do put a wound on the skin of you. One of the few cities to keep the top down all the time, you know what I'm saying? All year long, you know what I'm saying? It's only a couple of cities you could do that in, and LA is one of them, so. That's why this was a main choice and for showing y'all how I'm living. Man, I do so much things for the fans. I do 
I do everything from free shows to, to autographs to pictures to visiting schools. Ghetto F A B Z F A C Z. Buses hate me because I they breezy. I feel I can give back, you know what I'm saying? I try to make it happen. I do a lot of in stores. Shaggy, gentlemen, DJ Clue and Fabulous is oh, yeah. in the hood. <laughs> What's going down, fam? How you What's feeling this deal, morning? baby? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. You know, I'm up early. And just stuff to, you know what I'm saying, show them, you know what I'm saying, I'm there for them, and I can relate to where they coming from. You always hope for it, man, but did you ever think, like, man, it, it's, it's going to come together? Oh, yeah, man. I just was just hoping, like, everybody would respond to it. I think I had put together a good album, so I was just hoping that the people would just go out there, you know what I'm saying, feel what I was trying to do, man, and a lot of people did. Oh. Sometimes you feel like, yo, you're tired of doing this. Uh, I don't want to do this today, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think it, like, comes with the territory, man. Once you step foot into something, it's like taking a job. Yeah, yeah, y'all. It's your boy Fabulous, the F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S. Right here, and this is how I'm living. What's up, DT? Boy, fabulous. That's right. About to show y'all how I'm living. I eat everything, man. I eat a lot of fast food. But I also, I love a home cooked meal, you know what I'm saying? I try to sneak some girls in here, cook me up some. I ain't gotta say home in them interviews. My sweet thing never believe them rumors that been a true. The fact I had numerous friends is true. It's time to have some friends over. We just kick it here, plop down on the couch. Real comfortable, couch real comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Just chill out here. It's okay. So what you think about can't come on to the winter come on. I don't know what the other consumers you been with. Oh man, I ain't, I ain't throwing no parties yet, man. I ain't throwing no parties yet. I'm scared of I'm scared of having a, the real the real party bash in here, man. I know it's gonna get crazy. I'm, I just like I like everything that's so neat in here. Yeah, yeah. VT now we in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? This is where a lot of people do a lot of spend a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? This is where I spend a lot of time because I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? And I don't pick up a lot of weight, so it works like that. It's nice modern, you know what I'm saying, kitchen. Not too fancy, not too old. You know what I'm saying? Anything with cabinets and anything is wooded out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have this. This is a must have. This is the George Foreman Grill. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Now we out here in the backyard, you know what I'm saying, with a patio where a lot of chilling be going down. We chill out here, we eat. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we barbecue, you see the grill over there and the cut is covered up. Like at nighttime, you get this gorgeous view, you know what I'm saying? This is this is a view, you, I mean, a lot of people pay a lot of money for right here. You know what I'm saying? That's the city of LA right there. Holla back. Uh -huh. I'm gangster. Yeah, I... Now we're going to run upstairs, BT. You know what I'm saying? See how I'm living on an upstairs type level. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go check out the master bedroom, but first, I want y'all to check out the master bedroom's bathroom. But never on teenage friends, and I keep it between my legs. Here we got two different sink areas, you know what I'm saying? You do your thing, she do her thing. We had a shower area over here, which is very spacious. You get your own room and stand and do your thing and go in here and shower. So I got a deal, I sell pot too, cause before I had a bath with the, you know what I'm saying, jacuzzi mechanism in it. Got the master bedroom, like I said, where I go to when I want to get some rest. You know what I'm saying? Very spacious, very nice. You know what I'm saying? When I want to lay down, I lay down on the bed. When I just want to kick it in the bedroom, I just lay over here. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice view of the backyard out here through the window. We're going to take it now to the balcony. This is what's cool about the master bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Instead of you running all the way back downstairs and all that, you can run straight right out here. You run through the screen door. Now 
like voila, you know, the back you all about when you get that beautiful view again of LA, you know what I'm saying? All the lights, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a great view, man. That's 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 like beautiful, man. You can see sometimes I come up on here and just sit in this square and just look at the city and write and you know what I'm saying, get my mind right, man. Yeah, yeah, this is how I'm living, man. We back outside the house. We got the jacuzzi right here. You can see, you know what I'm saying? The jacuzzi, you know what I mean? You get your ladies, you know what I'm saying? The ladies are big fans of the jacuzzi. We got the pool strip right here. Sometimes we set up chairs on either side, you know what I'm saying? You can just lay back, get your tan on, take a dip in the pool, you know what I'm saying? It's, it goes great out here, man. It's just a great environment. Man, I'm, I'm living real fabulous, you know what I'm saying? That's not really my name, but I'm living real fabulous now. I'm getting to do a lot of things I want to do. I'm getting to uh, show my friends and family a lot of things that they want to see and get them a lot of things that they might have not had a chance to get. So, um, you know what I'm saying? That makes me feel good, you know what I'm saying? Being able to not only get from do for myself. Trina is a very sweet, charming, lovable individual. A person that lives in reality, a good friend, someone that's always nice to other people. You know, and that's exactly who I am. Where I came from actually is Miami, actually Liberty City. It's not really the roughest neighborhood, but it's really, you know, down to earth, ghetto, grimy, whatever. We got a lot of that's ghetto food. That's what you call ghetto food, right? Go to cedar, stand in the dash, hold to heat. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm living. This is how I'm living, y'all. I basically just live normal, a normal life, so it's good to come from being regular to being, you know, different. My mom's, she could turn around, you can see her face. Hi. I've always wrote rhymes and stuff like that, that's something I always wanted to do, but never really pursued it to take it really seriously. up around Trey. We didn't really hang out that much, but I knew him from school or whatever, and he asked me to do a record with him. You know, it was funny. Everybody was, like, talking about it. It was the biggest male first female bashing record of the summer. I'm shy. <laughs> One thing led to another. Went out on the road, did my thing, decided to do a solo project, and the rest is history. I represent for the misses, all lies on your riches. No time for the little tricks. You see, the bigger the tricks, the bigger the bad. I'm not really hardcore. I'm not really gangster and all that. I just rap about streets and reality, the things that go on in, the, in life. You know, when people say, you know, keep it real, keep it street, when you keep it real and sometimes it be too real, they can't accept it. But the things that I say and talk about, it goes on every single day, 365 days of a year. People are just in denial about life.